Hey everyone out there. First off, I want to thank you for visiting my channel. If you can, please click subscribe. That way you can be informed of when I upload a new video. Also click the like button. For this first series of videos, I'm going to be spotlighting Torchmate. And we're going to be focusing on Torchmate CAD and the new installation of their CAD version of software. Now there's two ways you can go about this. One, if you purchase the machine, you would have a USB that has the Torchmate CAD in there. Secondly, you can also do a direct download off of their website. This is what I'm going to be doing. So we're going to be going to the Torchmate.com website and downloading their software. So let's begin. Just open up your browser and we're going to go to Torchmate.com. So www.torchmate. Once it loads up, it's a pretty nice website. There's their number, toll free number. We'll go down to the Torchmate support and we want Torchmate CAD CAM. Scroll down and we're looking for here CAD CAM downloads. So I'll need you to click on that. So I'm going to click the CAD9 software. Here you're going to choose open or save. I'm going to choose save. Ideally you want to always save it to your hard drive. You don't want to open it and install it at the same time because it can become corrupt. Now I already downloaded this so I'm going to spare you guys the pain of it downloading. So when you click save it will just start downloading but I'm going to hit cancel. Once that's done, let's go ahead and navigate to where you installed, where you downloaded that. It could be in your download folders, on your desktop, whichever one. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to go right to that guy. Now if I scroll down, we're looking for setup. You're going to double click on that. Your UAC panel might pop up. So go ahead and just click yes that you are an admin and it's okay to install. Here's where we're going to choose your language. There's many you can choose from. My Chinese is a little rough, so I think I'm going to just choose English for this one. And it starts the installation process. Now that we see this screen, before we complete the installation, you need to plug in the USB Torchmate CAD security device dongle into your computer. It can be blue in color like this, or it can be in orange. Mine happens to be an orange one, so I'm going to plug that in, but you need to plug this in before we finish installing. So it's either blue or it's an orange. Once that's plugged in, we're going to go ahead and click next. Now that this screen's popped up, we're going to go ahead and click next. Here's the user agreement. You're going to read this, as I'm sure none of you are, but if you are, good for you. Go ahead and click I accept the terms of this agreement. Click next. And this is where it's going to download it to, the C Torchmate CAD CAM 9. I'm going to click Next. We're going to do a full install. And here you can actually rename the folder if you wanted, but I'm going to keep this. I'm going to click Next. You have an opportunity to choose Imperial Units or Metric. In this case, I'm going to choose Imperial. Now begins the installation. This is going to take some time, so I will be speeding it up to the next window that pops up, which is usually your fonts. So stay tuned. Okay, we're back. We have the font installation window that pops up. You can either skip it or install. So I'm going to click continue because I want to install the fonts that are on my computer. Now that the true type fonts have been installed, it's going to go ahead and search your computer for some more. If this screen pops up, you want to search your C drive or wherever your fonts are located at. Most likely it's going to be on the C drive. Just click OK. This one will take a little longer and it's probably only going to find a few more fonts. OK, the fonts have been installed. Go ahead and click OK. It's going to thank you, click OK, 
it wants you if it asks you to restart your computer you can I'm gonna click no either way will be fine but to be safe you can go ahead and restart it okay now that we installed it let's go ahead and load up the application first you want to make sure that that USB is still plugged into the computer because it needs to recognize that security device that's inside so we're gonna go ahead and click the start menu and we're gonna click the Torchmate CAD software you can see it's version 9 so the pro tip I want to tell you guys here is every time you load up and start this application I need you to go to the help button and click about Torchmate right here is where we want to see the pound zero sometimes you'll just have a zero but it's either pound zero or zero after the serial number if you see that congratulations that means that the software is communicating with that security device if you see a minus one or nothing at all in this location something happened either your USB isn't plugged in or it's not fully seated and sometimes it is fully seated but the software just doesn't recognize it so close the application unplug the USB plug it back in load the application and then go back to help and about torchmate and it should see a pound zero on the next video we're going to be customizing torchmate CAD this is going to streamline it for the end user which will be yourself that way we're going to get rid of all the stuff you don't really need making sure your units are set up and this is going to get you that much further ahead of the group so stay tuned for the next video. Like I said, please click subscribe. That way you'll be alerted when I upload the next video. I'd greatly appreciate it.